So today we are going to work on around the world with your kettlebells. So first of all, we're going to concentrate on your posture. So I want you to stand nice and tall. I don't want you to slouch because if you put a kettlebell in the front of you and you're already here, you're going to pull forward more. So I want you to lift those shoulders up by your ears, roll them back, tuck them down. Imagine your shoulder blades getting tucked into your back pocket. That is how I want you to stand. Nice, tall, and confident. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that kettlebell in your hand. Now you're going to hold that kettlebell in a hanging position by the handle. Again, you're here. Remember, if you had a weight and you were slouching, you would go here. So pull up, back, and down. So nice and tall, in a comfortable position. You don't have to worry about, you know, you have to be so far apart. I just want you to stand comfortably. So in that stance, I want you to engage that core. So you're going to take the kettlebell around your back, release it here into the other hand. So it's one of our release movements. Back to the front. And we're just going to practice one way. Good. When you're comfortable here, you're going to go the other way. Now, if you can see yourself doing this, be mindful that you don't get into the sway game. Okay, you notice how you can get really going with the bell and you get right into it. I love that you're into it, but you want to engage, stay alive, have a nice strong trunk throughout, and really work at being nice and stable. Another thing, if you start to bend your elbows, bring it up, you're going to notice it's a little bit more challenging. So you can play with that going up and down and then changing, reversing the direction and going the other way. If you've learned some exercises with your single hand, like your single handed swing, you can practice getting into that bottoms up catch. So again, you want to have the progression to get yourself there. Now that bottoms up catch, I'm just going to bring it up here. This is where your end spot. You're catching the kettlebell, you have a nice strong wrist, a good grip on that handle. So practice and get in here because you would want to know and need to know that single hand swing because you want to have enough mind body awareness so you're comfortable catching and controlling that bell right here. So you can go down, catch it up right here. I'm going to face the front here, take it back and up. So now we're going to not use that motion but that's something we can definitely practice before we add it into our around the world. So for the around the world, we can go back to the handle, go around the body, into that catch. Around, catch. Again, really engaging the core, being mindful of the weight you're using. You want to go down light always when you start, just to get the motion. When you feel comfortable, you can increase your weight, knowing here you don't want to go too heavy if your elbows bother you. There's lots of exercises that you can train with that bottoms up catch around the world. Tune in tomorrow and I will give you some exercises where that trains your around the world. Have a great day.